it's me, Drew. Welcome to my video. I hope you are having a great day. And if you're like not having a great day, I hope that like the people who are having a great day aren't like telling you about their great day. Like literally shut the fuck up. Congrats, Chad. Well, aren't you happy? I tried to pick a name that's like not a YouTuber name. Like I don't think there's any YouTubers named Chad. Because that's like totally something a YouTuber would do. Like rub their amazing day in your face while you're obviously feeling upset. Like, oh, are you sad, little baby? Oh, well, my secret project is coming along just fine. So. And I am not naming names because I do not want that YouTube drama. What if I had like the craziest YouTube drama with someone ever? Like someone fucking pulled my ponytail off at a skate rink? Or like what if I fucking slapped one of the British YouTubers? Like I thought it was like a game. We were joking around at VidCon, but like I did it too hard. And they were like, you fucking chap. Okay, anyway, I can already feel myself losing my voice. I wanted to talk about something today. I went to Disneyland recently. Sorry you missed me, but at the same time, good luck getting past my bodyguards. Yeah, I have fucking bodyguards now, and they have great hair. Okay, so I was at Disneyland. You know how they have, like, the people at theme parks that, like, dress up as the characters, like, they're the mascots? By the way, I saw my least favorite fucking person ever. I brought him up before, but I just want to say the snowman from Frozen. Fuck you, dude. I want to fucking melt him. He's so fucking ugly. If anyone knows the snowman from Frozen, let him know that I am fucking coming. Not like coming. By the way, good fucking luck, snowman. People are scared to say it, but I'm not. That snowman will never make anyone come. I've never seen Frozen 1, and the only way I will ever see Frozen 2 if it's a documentary about the snowman dying over and over again. Like in crazy ways. Like he drowns in a pile of logs. Or like someone beats him with a bat made out of his family. Anyway, okay, I was gonna get a picture with Goofy. I fucking love Goofy. Goofy is my man. Or like Goofy is my dog. This this is a true story, by the way. Here's the picture. Let's get goofed. I worship Goofy. I fucking love Goofy Movie, not fucking Extremely Goofy Movie. Don't even talk about that shit. I've talked about it before. Fuck Extremely Goofy Movie. One of the most inaccurate titles of all time in Extremely Goofy Movie. It is considerably less goofy than the original Goofy Movie. One of the biggest overstatements of the early 2000s. It was mildly goofy at best. Anyway, I'm going up to Goofy for a picture. I'm super fucking nervous. I'm a fucking goof head. I'm goofing all day long. Every day I'm goofling. This is how we goof it. And in this moment, as you on the picture, I am wearing a ponytail because I'm literally someone's dad who like brings like too many snacks to the soccer game. Like a lot of Capri Suns and like I brought my guitar for no reason. So I walk up to Goofy. I'm ready for my picture. I see him. He looks at me. I remember this very fucking clearly. He points to my ponytail and he goes like this. Snip, snip, snip. Goofy wants my pony. And I have so much to say about this. I don't even know where to start. I guess a good place is suck my fucking dick, Goofy. Who the fuck do you think you are? First of all, let's figure the logic out. What the fuck does that even mean? That's the worst part. It confused me. Since when was that like Goofy's thing? Does he love hair? Does he eat it? Does he collect it? Does he fucking jack off to it? Are you objectifying my long brunette locks in the happiest place on earth, motherfucker? Goofy doesn't love pony. Ponytails. That is not fucking Goofy canon, and you know it. You can't just fucking decide that. That's like if the guy dressed up as Mickey, like, went around, like, pointing to people's arms and legs and going, Rup! and it's like, what the fuck? Oh, sorry, that's Mickey's thing. He likes for everyone to be an amputee. He just, he hates limbs. What do you know? And by the way, don't get me wrong, I did my fucking research. I googled Goofy plus ponytails on their fucking Wi-Fi to see if there's, like, some kind of sad backstory where, like, Pluto got wrapped up in someone's fucking ponytail, and Goofy's just trying to save everyone else from a similar violent demise. Nope. So the question question still stands. Why the fuck did you do this, Goofy? What does it mean? Is it funny? Is it because I'm a boy and I'm not supposed to have a ponytail? That's fucking offensive. I don't know exactly why it's offensive, but someone could leave me an anonymous Tumblr message letting me know why it's offensive, and I will post it. Goofy is fucking problematic, and I'm the only one fucking talking about it. Everyone else is too goddamn scared to speak up. Get over here, motherfucker. Get that goofy dick over here. I'll snip snap that shit off. Come on, queen. What do you want to fucking do with my ponytail, Goof? If we track you down to your fucking studio apartment, will there be dozens fucking framed all over the wall like goddamn deer heads? You fucking love that. You sniff them every night of your goddamn life. You are one creepy, twisted fucking giant dog. By the way, why are you a fucking dog? Man up. I'm so fucking mad at Goofy, I completely lost my voice and I don't even know what else to talk about besides the fact that I woke up at 5 p.m. the other day. I'm not gonna say exactly when because that's like more embarrassing, but it was yesterday. Oh, this is actually good. Okay, so I woke up at 5 p.m. I went to sleep at like 9 a.m. I know that's fucking insane. By the way, not like a bad sleep. It's like I'm being an adult, but like at the wrong time. 
and I woke up, it was dark outside, I felt like a fucking loser, I felt insane, I was like, no one has ever even done this before, so what I did to feel more normal, and I highly recommend this, motherfuckers, I Twitter searched, woke up at 5pm, that's true, cause I wanted to see if anyone else had ever done it, so I could feel better. And they have, like recently, there was a lot of tweets, being irresponsible and sad is like way more fun when you have company. And it made me feel better, like a lot better, like too much better, like I thought like, what else? am I gonna let myself get away with with this philosophy? Like, if you ever check my Twitter search history and it says, like, I just murdered someone, you'll know what's going on now. Holy fuck, I hope you guys aren't mad about my voice. Please don't be mad about my voice. I feel like it's kinda, like, almost sexy, like the scruff and the rasp. It must be kinda confusing on all of your bodies. Let's sing. <laughs> Good night.